Um, hello, I'm Podrick Murphy. This is Dave Allen. Hello. And we're coming to you today from Cubicle 7 Games to talk about our new standalone Warmer Fantasy roleplay card game, Electric Counts. So in Electric Counts, each player takes on the role of one of the Electric Counts of the Empire vying to seize the throne and be declared the next Emperor. Um, so what does the card game come with? You've got a nice little box that's going to look great on your bookshelf. We've got a full set of rules, which is a full color booklet that includes loads of gameplay examples um, to get you up and running nice and quickly. Um, if you need to reference a rule during play, there's a great double-sided player aid card that contains all of the commonly um, referenced rules, but there's not too many and you'll quickly find yourself um, flying through it. So the game itself consists of 112 full color um, playing cards. They are covered with art from both the Warhammer archives, some nice Warhammer fantasy art, and a couple of nice new pieces um, that I haven't been seen anywhere else so far. Um, so there's lots in there if you're an aficionado of Warhammer art. I think there's something in this card game just to look through and enjoy um, by itself. We've also got a full set of tokens for each of the four players, the games for between two and four um, players and they each get their own set of siege and fortification tokens and they're used as you reinforce your holdings launch attacks on your enemy and so on and Dave will explain that in a moment and then we've got a full set of shillings which are the currency used throughout the game so speaking of the game Dave how do I play this okay so this is like a typical hand that you might draw during the game first of all you'll want some locations to defend each location comes with a shilling number and a victory point number so uh, the town market square is worth two shillings. I'll keep these, and as I get shillings throughout the game, I can use them to buy new cards or activate abilities on the cards. Now, in order to claim the uh, victory points, I'll need to successfully defend the cards during the game. So defender cards are blue, and they each come with a little uh, strength value at the top there. So I'll play the Stern Tower Marksman, who've got two strength, and place them face down so that my opponent does not know how strongly defended the location is. Um, then there are attacker cards. So an opponent might have a card like Heisland Burgers Crusaders and they would uh, either place it face down if it's not defended or face up if it is. And then you would compare the strengths. In this case, Heisland Burgers Crusaders are much stronger than the Stern Tower mm -hmm. Marksman. So they go away and the attacking player would place a siege token there. That mean that unless someone else comes along and defends it later in the game, they would get those three victory points. So right now, that but regardless of who played it, the red player is going to take those victory points. Yeah, they belong to red. Right. Right. And then the final type of card are the support cards, and these are special abilities that you can play. Some of them might uh, automatically defeat an attack. Here, the Varenan Investigator um, would allow you to see all the Defender cards without having to attack a location, and uh, confusing artog cartography would mean you could misdirect an attack from someone else to another player. Great, so these are my tactics, my special agents, all the stuff I can do to mess with my opponents. Uh -huh. Great. And finally, we've got the end of game card, and when that is drawn, the game enters an end phase where um, you slowly start to see who wins the game. Brilliant. And the goal of the game, of course, is to get the most victory points by claiming territory, defeating your enemies, defending what's yours, and being declared the next emperor of the empire. Exactly. This is, yeah, Warhammer Fantasy roleplay Electric Counts. So a great standalone card game that I think um, you can enjoy whether or not you're into the Warhammer uh, world. But if you are, there's definitely something special about this one. And we've got a full playthrough example for you to enjoy on our YouTube channel. Oh yes, we'll have a full playthrough on YouTube as well, where you can see me probably lose.